All right, first things first. Let's go ahead and download this app. So by downloading this app, uh, it's supposed to make life a whole lot easier when getting to the scale. You can actually pay through the app and it'll tell you the weight through the app. And additionally, you can get the uh, printed piece of paper too, um, which I probably will also get. As you can see, we're gonna be taking the Mustang to a truck stop weigh scale today and uh, see how much it weighs. Now, I know these scales are not 100% accurate, but they're ballpark, you know, they're not gonna be like, down to the ounce or even pound accurate, but you know, they're gonna get you within, you know, 20, 30, you know, pounds, I'm sure, of actual weight of the car. So that's more or less what I want to know. Now, when I get the weight of the car, it's gonna be full weight. So I'm actually going to top off the gas tank, and of course, it's gonna be with me in it. That is good information that I wanna know because I kinda understand what the car weighs from Ford, which is supposed to be like 36, 3,700 pounds, but that's not including a lot of other things, and I don't know the exact weight of the car, especially with me in it. You know, I'm 200 pounds of just pure sexy man muscle, so I need to know how much is this really adding to the car's weight. So, and of course, there has been things changed to the car. I've had the intake replaced with the Mishimoto intake, and quite honestly, I don't think there's any difference in weight. This whole system weighs the same as the factory system, and if anything, maybe just ounces lighter. Maybe. But uh, yeah, no weight reduction there, but there are things that still have changed, and I would like to know. You know, I've added a few things that will essentially add weight, like the catch can, this throttle body spacer. I mean, it isn't much, but it is weight added to the car, essentially. A lot of times, people don't even understand that tires um, can weigh a lot different from t one tire to another. One of the things I was looking at when looking at tires, not only was I looking at, you know, the, the tread wear rating, the performance of the tire, but I was also looking at the weight because believe it or not, there are some tires that in the same performance class as these that weigh 10 pounds more per tire, which is absolutely crazy. This tire is definitely going to be heavier than the factory tire because it's wider. It's going to definitely more rubber on here than the factory tire. So that's adding weight. And I wanna know exactly how much this is all adding up to be on the car. Now the good thing is, of course, full interior, I haven't touched nothing. And this is kind of the whole thing here. Aside from the things I've added, I wanna get a baseline number of how much the car weighs because I wanna see how much weight you can simply remove from this car without really getting too crazy, taking off or removing things that are important to the car or that affect the livability or drivability of the car. So that's a big point of this test. Now to do that, once I get my baseline number, I'm gonna make a separate video about removing things and every part I remove, I will weigh and deduct from the number that I have from the CAT scale by using this right here, beautiful Harbor Freight um, uh, shipping scale, which is actually decently accurate. You know, um, let's see here. Go ahead and clear that out. Let's weigh my coffee. What's my coffee weigh? One pound, 5.6 ounces. So this is, you know, I'm sure this is within ounces of accuracy. You can't be too far off. Every part I remove from the car will be weighed and then, of course, like I said, deduct it from the number I got from the cat scale. One last thing before I head off to the scales, I wanna say there is one part missing from the car, and that is this right here. Now this is, I don't know, maybe a pound's worth of material here, and this is just a wind deflector that was placed between the intercooler and uh, actually just underneath the intercooler in the um, belly pan that was removed because it was somehow, I don't know, damaged and I never put it back the way it was supposed to go. But uh, yeah, I mean, just the saying, this is not included in the car, but this is something you could remove. So I, once I uh, get the baseline of the car, I will weigh this piece separately to see exactly how much this weighs. And um, you know, these are things that can be deducted, but you know, just, I just wanna go ahead and throw that out there. So I'm transparent about my process. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty straightforward here. So we're gonna go ahead and get the car started up and head up to one of the few scales that are near me. I think the one I'm gonna go to is gonna be a lot less busy, which would be better for my shenanigans. Anyways, that's enough of me talking. Let's saddle up and get up to the scales, shall we? Let's have some fun on Cars Create. Top 
pumped off the gas tank, make sure we got all the weight in the car, all of it. And we're just around the corner from the scale, so we're gonna be there in four minutes, according to Google. You know, I watched a few videos of doing this. Very weird, it feels silly to pull a car onto a truck scale, but, you know, people have talked to the cat scale representatives and they do say that their scales are also used for, you know, uh, personal vehicles as well. So cars, trucks, RVs, um, you know, you wanna weigh your boat, all of that. Like, so it's, you know, is what it is. It just seems silly because they're advertised as a, as a truck scale, so. Eh, whatever. I mean, it's a good thing that they have these like high capacity scales so people with their challengers and chargers can go away. Oh, we're pulling up right now. I guess we just we go this way. Looks that way. Oh yeah, just pull on to right here. Now I think these things are pretty straightforward. So I got the app here. You pull on and see, let's see, okay, I gotta make sure that half the car is over the line there, so, because it will actually uh, give you a distribution of weight, actually, let me back up just a smidge, make sure I'm kind of equal, and then it has a location number up there, go ahead and pull up the app, Type in my location number, 680, confirm, 13 bucks, weigh my truck. All right, wow, car weighs a little more than I thought. Um, interesting, but it, wow, actually the weight distribution's not that bad. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, my actual um, slip here so we can reference that later so i'm gonna go ahead and pull in and grab that and then uh, we'll come back to the video all right i got it i got the golden ticket <laughs> anyway let's go ahead and take a closer look at what we have here so we can look at it together in all of its glory i gotta tell you this was actually very easy um as long as you get the app you set up your payment i linked it to my paypal account as soon as it did its thing and and went through and got my weight it billed me i went in they had this printed already you just asked the cashier at the front they hand it to you bada bing bada boom and uh yeah super simple definitely will uh not hesitate to do this again now that i know what's up but back to the info so we can see here gross weight is uh 3,860s, that's more than I thought. But you gotta realize, that's also with me in the car. So actually the car, I'm like 200 pounds. The car itself is actually only 3,660, which is actually better than I thought. And that's full tank of gas. So you gotta think of full tank of gas, that's 100 plus pounds right there. Uh, you know, you run a quarter tank of gas, that's another 100 pounds, you're 3,500, and you haven't even done nothing. So. When you think about all that, that has actually surprised me. You know, when I first saw this number, I'm like, oh, geez, 3860. But what you got to realize is that's me in the car. So I'm actually really happy with that number, assuming that it's accurate. Wow, I actually, <laughs> I'm actually really excited now. So the car itself is about 36. 100 pounds, what, that's about what it, you know, I said, 36, 3,700 pounds from Ford, that's where it is. Yeah, we definitely have room for improvement. So with me in the car, weighs just as much as a dry weight GT. So I am the difference of the Coyote in terms of weight. Awesome, I love it, I love it. So yeah, now going forward, uh, you know, I'm gonna make videos about how much weight I can pull from the car without sacrificing livability and drivability of the vehicle. Um, obviously, one thing we can do to save a lot of weight is just run less fuel. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe I'll come back to the scale uh, with a quarter tank of fuel and see how much weight that knocks down. I'm not sure if I wanna do that. I mean, that's pretty much, you can calculate that. Um, we know how much a gallon of gas weighs. So, although I'm not, I guess E85 weighs the same because I blend fuel. But either way, it's gotta be around six, six pounds a gallon, I would assume. So that can be calculated. I don't know if I have to really go through all the trouble of coming back, even though it's easy and it's not all that expensive, but I'm actually really happy with this. And if you look at the numbers here, um, it's actually not that bad. I think I was about as even on the scales as I could be. Um, and it's got 2060 up front, 18 in the rear. And I think this version of the Mustang is supposed to be like a 54% front rear 
uh, weight balance, uh, that's about right. Yeah. So, but I mean, that can, that can, I feel like that can almost easily be made a 50, 50 easily, or, or as close to as any other Mustang without really getting, you know, into taking out very serious components. If you do like composite fenders and hood that shaves your hundred pounds right there, probably. I mean, there's a lot you can do right there to get that closer. Um, and I mean, you could just also add weight to the back if you wanted to actually get a decent, you know, a perfect weight balance, but either way, that's actually not bad. So I'm actually really, I'm, I'm super excited for this. I'm, I'm gonna frame this. I'm gonna do something with it. I don't know, I'm probably just gonna put it away and never look at it ever again. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up here for this video. Um, of course, you gotta look out for the video coming next when I start ripping things out of this and trying to save some weight. But, uh, you know, always keep looking out for that video, but it's gonna wrap it up for this video. Anyways, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share with everyone you know. If you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for the next Drew Car Enthusiast video. Bye.